Hello everyone, this is Faith at Faith in Books. How are you doing? Um, I'm recording this on the Labor Day Monday. Um, it's about, what time is it? 10 to 8 in the morning. Um, we're probably going to hear my chicken and probably planes going over. But I'm doing the pop-up poetry tag. I was just tagged by Ryan at, I think it's Ryan Reviews. Um, but I will link to him below and also link to the originator, which um, I have not seen hers yet. Um, but it's Anne of In Search of Wonder. Um, and so she just said, it's a poetry pop-up. Uh, you just read a poem about autumn, but I'm gonna read four short poems. Um, so hopefully it won't take too long. Um, well, these are all um, lovely poems that make me think of autumn. So the first one, I'm not gonna read, actually I'm gonna recite it because it's a very short poem. I always have trouble remembering the order of it though. Um, but it's a little poem that I actually try to recite to my grandkids. Um, and it's just a little poem by, I believe, Christina Rossetti called Who Has Seen the Wind. So it goes like this. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the, when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. I always mess up that, that one, say leaves instead of trees. Anyway, so that's the first one. Of course, that applies to any season whenever there's wind. But I think about the wind in fall because of the, you know, you see the little whirlwinds of leaves scutter across the, the street or um, a shower of leaves when the gusts, you know, when the gusts uh, pass through the trees. So anyway, so that's, there's a plane. I'm right on a, a route to the airport, so we always have planes going over. But um, the next two are poems that I think are really appropriate for the season of creation. I was just talking about season of creation, which is September 1st to October 4th. And it's, it's a time when you're supposed to renew your relationship with God's creation and really appreciate it and think about your relationship with it and and how it's a gift from God that needs to be that you you're supposed to be a, a good steward of um, it's a precious gift that you're supposed to take care of um, and so a lot of times uh, fall is so beautiful we really feel that sort of deeper call you know deep calls to deep and that happens a lot when you're experiencing beauty um, and so these poems kind of speak to that. So this first one I'm going to read is by Edna St. Vincent Millay, and she was a poet I was going to focus on, I think back in February, and I didn't do a good job. Maybe it was March, because I was doing the um, There's No Place Like Rome, and her poems are were longer, the collection I had anyway, were, were longer, and I just, I just didn't have the focus. Mm. But I regret that, because she's a lovely poet. And I'm, I'm hoping to revisit her. And this is a poem by her, and it's called God's World. O oh world, I cannot hold thee close enough. Thy winds, thy wide gray skies, thy mists that roll and rise. Thy woods this autumn day that ache and sag and all but cry with color, that gaunt crag to crush, to lift the lean of that black bluff. World, world, I cannot get thee close enough. Long have I known a glory in it all, but never knew I this. Here such a passion is, as stretcheth me apart. Lord, I do fear, thou'st made the world too beautiful this year. My soul is out, but all but out of me. Let fall, no burning leaf. Prithee, let no bird call. Like the beauty is too much for her, she can't take it. And to me, that, that makes me think, if, if something feels greater than ourselves, maybe there is something greater than ourselves. So, um, yeah, so I think I thought that was a beautiful poem. And then this one is Pied Beauty by Gerard Manley Hopkins. And again, it's not specifically about um, fall, but it's about appreciating the beauty of God's world. And that, that you know, it's the season of creation. So that's what we, we uh, are encouraged to do. Um, and I love Gerard Manley Hopkins because he really plays with words and the sound of words. Um, and so it's it's quite, uh, it's almost like a little puzzle and he just crams so much in. So, um, so anyway, this is Pied Beauty. This is a very well-known one by him. Glory be to God for dappled things, for skies of couple colored as a brindic cow, 
her rose moles all in stipple upon trout that swim. Fresh fire cold chestnut falls, finches wings, landscaped, plotted and pieced, fold, fallow and plow, and all trades their gear and tackle and trim. All things counter, original, spare, strange, whatever is fickle, freckled, who knows how, with swift, slow, sweet, sour, a dazzle dim, he fathers forth whose beauty is past change, praise him. And then the last one is a poem by Helen Hunt Jackson and it's called September. The goldenrod is yellow, the corn is turning brown, the trees and apple orchards with fruit are bending down. The gentian's bluest fringes are curling in the sun. In dusty pods, the milkweed, its hidden silk has spun. The sedges flaunt their harvest in every meadow nook, and asters by the brookside make asters in the brook. By all these lovely tokens, September days are here with summer's best of wealth and autumn's best of cheer. And we have the chorus. So that's it. Um, I'm going to tag um, Linda at Elder Talk and Deirdre at Eden Restored to do this poem. Um, I mean, to do this tag and find a poem that they love about autumn. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'm glad it's nice and short. What kind of bird is that? I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, so the video cut off, and we were hearing that bird, and now you can hear my chicken. I have one chicken left, but a raccoon got the three others, and I'm actually getting more chickens um, this month, so I'm getting three more chickens. Anyway, she just laid an egg, so she's bragging about how she laid an egg. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> um, but I forgot, I mean, it got cut off, so I, I can't remember what exactly I was saying. But the bird that we, we were hearing was a pileated woodpecker. It flew right to, into a tree right here in my yard and then, and then flew right over the porch. So that was pretty cool uh, after reading those poems about um, how beautiful the world is and then to have this pileated uh, woodpecker. Um, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I also forgot to mention that I really love this poetry book. This was a book I had an edition of this growing up and I used to just sit and pour through it. It's just a collection of children's poems, um, but they're not just children's poems. I mean, they're definitely poems that adults, you know, like I just read, I just read from this collection. Um, but I love this as a child. And then a few years ago, I don't know how many years, two or three years ago, I, um, I found it, um, and, um, in, in a used bookstore. And so I bought it and it's just, oh, it's just such a precious edition of poetry. I'm so glad that I have it now. So it was, it was, this was a very nice tag. It was nice to be able to pull this out and look through it and find these poems. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, this has everything from Shakespeare to nursery rhymes. I mean, it's just, it's just really good. It's really good. Let me see, Alfred Lord Tennyson, uh, Robert Southey, just trying to, some of the Edgar Allan Poe, Robert Louis Stevenson, just, you know. So yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful edition of poetry. Um, and I'm so glad that I have it. Anyway, I'll, I'll end there. So take care. Happy September. Bye-bye.